Pensions were riding high on Dancing with the Stars last night, thanks to guest judge Abby Lee Miller from Dance Moms. But there were plenty of fantastic dances. It was so hard to pick a favorite, so we put it to a vote. We asked you, so what was your favorite individual dance on Dancing with the Stars last night? Here's what you had to say. Meryl and Max with the rumba edged out Amy and Derek's Argentine tango. We'll talk to the booted couple in just a moment, but first, here's Cameron Matheson with a look at last night's most dramatic moments. With the semifinals just one week away, the pressure is on in the ballroom. Paralympian Amy Purdy back in full force after a trip to the hospital grabbing perfect scores for her Argentine tank. Olympian Charlie White also taking home a flawless score for his lively quick step. He was off the starting block like a thoroughbred at the Kentucky Derby. Fellow Olympian Meryl Davis dancing a sexy rumba with partner Max, leaving guest judge Abby Lee Miller less than impressed. When you did the side extension to the ronde jambe to the ponche, that foot was like this. I really don't care for anything that she has to say. I thought it was tart, a bit aggressive. And for the first time in dancing history, the celebrities hit the floor dancing together without their pros. Purdy and TV star James Maslow dominating the duel. Ten! But the wonder weeks now coming to an end for actress Danica McKellar. It's been absolutely amazing. I'm, I've had the best time ever. For Good Morning America, Cameron Matheson, ABC News, Los Angeles. Thanks to Cam for that. It's great to have Danica and Val here yeah. right now. Good to see you guys. Thank, Thank you. you. Yes. So, you know, your tango last night was yes. so spectacular. Bruno called it your best performance yet. I guess that's some consolation. Oh, it was awesome. I loved it. I love the character. She's an evil queen, you know. I got into it. Well, when you go, but when he said that, but you still get eliminated from the show, I mean, how did that feel? <laughs> That's just the show. That's part of the show. You know that you never know when you're going to get eliminated, and you just have to live in the moment. It's a good life lesson, actually. Well, you all, just all throughout the season, and everyone, and just that the family atmosphere. Um, speaking of family, Max, your brother, he, we know how he felt about Abby, the <laughs> guest judge, uh, last night. Uh, we got a question for you, Val, from Facebook, and they want to know, what do you think of Abby as a judge? Uh, I don't. I don't know. I don't have any real emotion towards Abby. She's. I don't really care in a positive way. I don't really care <laughs> in a negative way. I'm just. You know, she's there, and you know, she's, so is like the props in the back. Come on out, Abby. <laughs> Abby come on out. No, 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 no. Well, you see, obviously, you're tired. You guys have flown all night, and we thank you for that. Yeah. But um, we know you. You're like family around here to us. You seem down. Are you, you sad to see your partner, Danica, not finish the show and go all the way? Uh, yeah, I mean, there's always disappointment. But I, I feel like whether, you know, it, it, I, th I think part of the sadness is the fact that it's over, not necessarily that we, you know, we didn't win. Right. Whether we would have won or, or made it to the finale, the fact that now this huge void, that you've been so passionate about for three months is, is gone. I think that's the hardest thing to deal with. Danica, you were still wearing that brace in rehearsal. How are you feeling? Yes. Oh, my ribs are much, I mean, they're they're sore, but they're getting better. I'm doing all these different therapies for it. Laser therapy, electric bone stimulation therapy, homeopathic, Chinese herbs. Like, I'm throwing everything at it, and it's working. Something in there is working. Good. Mix it all up. Something's got to exactly. work. Exactly. Now, you, you dance with Val. You also yes. dance with his brother, Max. Yes. Who is the uh -oh. toughest one? <laughs> Favorite one to dance Don't with. First of all, favorite is easy. This is all <laughs> well done. <laughs> um, they're both great, and they're both so like cool. And like, I need that. I think that one of the things I learned in this competition is how to be kind of more cool. <laughs> <laughs> do, do, do you tap into a, a part of yourself that you didn't realize when you were at a competition like this? This has been the most challenging thing yeah. I've ever done. Mm -hmm. um, and you know, I write math books to inspire girls in math. And one of the things I tell them is challenge yourself. You know, whether it's a math problem or dancing in front of millions of people without quite enough preparation to do so. You know, challenge yourself. Do something that scares you every day. That's what Eleanor Roosevelt said. And, you and just that's scared me. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I, I love that about you, Danica. Val, Thank you. congrats. Thank Thanks you. for coming in. Semi-finals getting underway next week. Begin at 8, 7 central right here on ABC.